Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Chinese ebook before it's gone. Hi, 大家好 Welcome to Chinese Weekly Words with Inru, and、uh, very glad to see you here again. This week, we're going to talk about crossing borders. Crossing borders. Hmm. The first one, ah,、uh, 入境卡卡 card, and it's an entry card. 请填写入境卡 Please fill in your entry card. Next one is 国籍国籍 is nationality. 我的国籍是中国 My nationality is China. Okay. Next one is 护照护照 is passport. 请保管好你的护照 Um. Please take care for your passport, not to lose it. 护照 Now we have 海关海关 is customs. 入境的时候要过海关。啊、uh, ，When you enter a country, you need to go through customs. Okay, 下面是签证。签证 means visa. 我的签证已经准备好了。I have my visa ready. All right. So that's it. We talked about、uh, crossing border, crossing a border today. And hope you like this video. And I will be here with you next week on Chinese Weekly Words. 再见 Welcome to Chinese Class One Hundred One dot com's Seven Minutes Chinese, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. Hey, 大家好，我叫马艳茹，很高兴与大家见面 Hi, everybody. I'm Yan Ruma. Nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Chinese expressions. It's super easy and only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Chinese. Ready? Let's get started. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Hi, I'm Yan Ru Ma. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Start by saying 你好。Which means hello. 你好 Then say 我叫 Which means I'm called. 我叫 After this, say your name. 你好，我叫马艳茹 Yes, it's just that easy. When you introduce yourself, you might want to tell people a little more than your name. Again, it's easy. You're learning Chinese, so let's say you want to tell people you are a Chinese student. In Chinese, this is 中文学生 The first word 中文 is the word for the Chinese language. 中文 Next, we have 学生 This means student. 学生 Altogether, it's 中文学生中文学生 Now, if you want to say I am a student, just start with the word for I we learned before. 我 Then add 是 This means is 是 After this, add the word for student. Do you remember it? 中文学生中文学生 Put them together, and you have. 我是中文学生。我是中文学生。Remember, start by saying hello, then say your name. 你好，我叫马艳茹。Follow with a little bit about you. 我是中文学生。And now you have a nice self introduction. 你好，我叫马艳茹。我是中文学生。Now it's time for Yanru's tips. When men introduce themselves, it's very common for them to shake hands. In business situations, women will do this too. In social or casual situations, however, 
It is common for women to simply nod or smile in order to show friendliness. Do you know how we say thank you in Chinese? Come to our next lesson, and you'll see how easy it is. 再见 See you then. Hello, guys. Welcome to Top Twenty Five Chinese Phrases. Hi, my name is Bao Yuting. It's the first time to see you there. Nice to meet you. 你好 Hello. 你好 The most common way. First time. 你好你好，请多多关照。The more casual way to say "ni hao" is "hi," and just like this, you meet your friends. You can say "hey, to 哪儿啊？对不起 ，sorry. Oh,、uh, sorry. Could you tell me where is the toilet? Oh,、uh, 对不起，请问一下厕所在哪里？谢谢 ，thank you. You like my video? Ah, 谢谢。早安 ，good morning. 嗯嗯，早安，早上好，早，晚安 ，Good night， 嗯，晚安 ，Good night， 太好了 ，Great， w e will go into Hawaii for this holiday， 耶、yeah, ，太好了 ，Great， 哪有 ，That's not true。雨婷 ，You are so beautiful. <laughs> 哪有哪有 ，I'm flattered. Hmm, but in my heart, <laughs> you are right. I'm beautiful. <laughs> 加油 ，Go for it. When your friends raising for a competition, you can say 加油加油 ，Go for it. Go for it. Go go go. 放心。Don't worry. Um, Ruti, today there is nobody can cook for our dinner. Don't worry, I got it. 放心吧，包在我身上。嘿嘿嘿。Actually, I I don't know how to cook. 干嘛呢 ？What's up? Hey, 老王，干嘛呢？一会儿去喝茶呀。嗯、huh? ，What's up? You you say you want to drink a tea with me? 嗯、hmm? ，OK。好吃。Delicious, my favorite food, baking duck. Do you like baking 烤鸭 <laughs> Baking duck, haha. <laughs> 好吃 Yeah, yummy, delicious. 随便你 up to you. 今晚我请客，随便你吃什么 I will treat you dinner. Uh, what you eat is up to you. Yeah, 放弃 Give up, please. Don't give up your dream forever. 请千万不要放弃你的梦想。Yeah, you can do it. 好的 ，Okay. Actually, in my generation, all the friends will say okay instead of 好的 So you can just use okay, but like this. Could you come here, please? 好的 ，Okay. Could you please help me pass this water? 好的 ，OK， 没什么 ，Not much， and also for this for this， and you can also use 没事的 ，It's like， oh thank you so much for your help， 没事的 ，It's that matter， It's not that much， and also like this， oh so sorry I'm late again， 啊、uh, 没事的 ，It's not that much， 我们走吧 ，Let's go。When you sit on the restaurant and and you just finish it, and you can say say that to your friends, 我们走吧 let's go. 怎么样 How about it? Ah,、oh, it's beautiful. 怎么样你喜欢吗 How about it? You like it? 我想 I want. Oh, my watch is broken. I want to buy a new one. 我想买一块新表，没完没了。There is no end to this. I'm my mother now. Ah, yeah. You must study hard, and then you can go to the good college. Then you can marry a good man. Then you can have a beautiful baby. Then your baby can go to the good college, and your baby can have a 
a good marriage, and your baby can have a good career. <laughs> 我妈妈说起来没完没了。我的妈呀 ！Oh my god! For my generation, the most common way is to say "Oh my god." Hmm. Is messy? I will try it. 我的妈呀！好辣呀！哎。Oh my God, it's so spicy! Ambulance, 救护车，好有趣 ！It's so interesting. 嗯哼，啊 ，It's so interesting. 好有趣 ！Come here, come here. 肚子饿了 ，I'm hungry. 嗯、啊，怎么还不下课呀？肚子饿了 ，I'm so hungry. 好撑。I'm so stuffed. Ah,、oh, I'm so stuffed. 好撑呀，吃太多了。Ah,、oh, just kidding. <laughs> 我喜欢 I like it. Oh, 我喜欢一醒来有你在身旁。Oh, this sounds is so romantic. 再见 Bye. Goodbye. But most carefully to say is 回见。回见了您嘞。Okay, that's all. We did the top twenty-five Chinese phrases today. What's our favorite phrases? My favorite phrases. 好吃，嘿嘿嘿。Trust me, it's very common and very very useful. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. See you next time. You must cut there. Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Hey, 大家好，我叫马艳茹。Hey, everybody, I'm Yeru Ma. Welcome to ChineseClass101.com's 三分钟汉语 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned how to show gratitude by saying 谢谢 In this lesson, we will learn some of the most common greetings used in China. 准备好了吗 Are you ready? 我们开始吧 So let's start. The most commonly used greeting is 你好你好 You may remember this from lesson one. 你好 means hi, hello, and how do you do? It's a slightly formal expression though, so just use it at work or similar occasions. Don't use it with your family and friends. The informal hello is sure to be familiar to you. You probably use it every day already. Hey, hey. If it sounds familiar, it's because it's just like English hey, but make sure to say it with the right Mandarin tone. Hey. When you want to greet someone in the morning, you can also say 早啊，早啊 It's very commonly used. But it's slightly informal. What about when we leave? What should we say? 再见 This very common expression is similar in meaning to the English "see you again." 再见 This is goodbye. Though simple, it can be used in almost all occasions. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Chinese. Let's review them all again. When meeting people for the first time or in a formal occasion. 你好 When meeting friends or family members, you can say "Hey." In the early morning, you can say "Zao." When leaving, no matter whether it's a formal or informal situation, 再见 It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Yanru's tips. As you know, there are more and more Chinese starting to learn English. This has started to affect the language. Just like how you can say "Hey" instead of "Ni hao." You can also say bye bye instead of 再见 So if you forget how to say 你好 and 再见 you can use the easy hey's and bye bye's, and people will understand you with no problem. During the next lesson, we will learn the meaning of the phrase 你会说英语吗 Do you already know it? I will be waiting to talk about it with you in our next 三分钟汉语 lesson. Hi everyone. Welcome to Chinese Class One One dot com. I'm Ray. Today we're going to talk about ten phrases to survive at the station. 我要去 
I'd like to go to. The first one is 我要去 I'd like to go to. For example, 我要去学校 I'd like to go to the school. 我要去车站 I'd like to go to the station. 我要去公交车站 I'd like to go to bus station. So you put the location after 我要去这是去的站台吗 Is this the right platform for? 这是去的站台吗 Is this the right platform for? And you can add the destination name at the end of the sentence. And the answer could be positive, 是 The negative would be 不是 No, it's not the platform for your destination. 最后一班列车是什么时候 What time is the last train? 最后一班电车是什么时候 What time is the last train? 最后一班电车是在晚上十点 The last train is at ten p.m. So when you are traveling in China, don't forget to check the last train. Otherwise, you're gonna take taxi. Taxi is always more expensive, especially at night time. 去在哪里换乘 Where do I change for? 去在哪里换乘 Where do I change for? And your destination. For example, 在下一个车站可以换乘去 You can transfer as a next station. For example, you can transfer 人民广场 as a next station. 在下一个车站可以换乘去人民广场 Then, Min Guangchang is a very famous station in Shanghai. 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在市中心的北边 The train station is in the north of the city center. 买票的地方在哪里 Where can I buy a ticket? 买票的地方在哪里 Where can I buy a ticket? 在那边。很多人排队的地方 is over there where you will see people standing in lines. Usually, you have to stand in a line to buy ticket, especially before the right before the Chinese New Year, because everybody has to go home to visit their family. It's the biggest festival all over China, so be careful. You have to book your ticket in advance. 公交车站在哪里 Where's the bus stop? 公交车站在哪里 ？Where is the bus stop? 往前走两百米，左转就可以看到了。Go straight for two hundred meters. Turn left, then you will see it. 下一辆公交车什么时候来 ？What time is the next bus? 下一辆公交车什么时候来 ？What time is the next bus? 下一班车十分钟后到。The next bus is coming in ten minutes. In China, you you do not have a timetable. For what I remember, even they have timetable, is not always on time. But I don't usually feel disappointed. Sometimes I even get pleasant surprises. They come here earlier than expected. So don't feel disappointed if the bus is not so on time when you're traveling in in China. 列车晚点了。The train's running late. 列车晚点了。The train's running late. But different from buses, I do not. I do not usually have experience that the train's coming in late. So, not so many surprises when you take the train in China. 自动售票机在哪里 ？Where are the ticket machines? 自动售票机。在哪里 Where is the ticket machine? The answer would be 自动售票机在大厅的右侧 The ticket machines are at the right side of the hall. Thank you for watching today's Chinese top words. Don't forget to subscribe ChineseClass11.com. And if you have ever traveled to China, don't forget to share with us your transportation. Taking experiences in China. Let me know what question do you have. Thank you. Bye. Hey, 大家好
我叫马燕如。Hey everybody, I'm Yan Ru Ma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's 三分钟汉语 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned the most common forms of greetings in Chinese. Do you remember them? In this lesson, we're going to learn a very useful phrase. Do you speak English? If you find yourself in a situation where you need assistance in English, this phrase can be a lifesaver. But because you are asking it in Chinese, you can be sure that everyone will understand what you are saying, even if the answer is no. Here is a common, slightly informal way to say it. 你会说英语吗？你会说英语吗 ？Let's break that down. You, 你 can 会 speak 说 English 英语 question mark particle 吗 ？You will notice the word 你 in the beginning of the sentence. Remember that this is the way to say you. The next word, 会 is like the English can. Then we have the verb 说 which means to speak. Next up is 英语 the word for English. And last we have 吗 This is used to ask a question. It works just like a question mark. Put it at the end of the sentence with a low tone. Altogether, it's 你会说英语吗 To learn how to properly use verbs like Hui, please look at our absolute beginner series on ChineseClass101.com. You can find very detailed grammar lessons and resources there. We are now going to make this sentence formal. First, we need to use the formal version of you, which is 您 Even if we change the word for you, we don't need to change the verb 会 Everything stays the same. 您会说英语吗？您会。说英语吗 ？Adding 请问 the sentence becomes even more polite. It means something like "Excuse me" here. Altogether, it's 请问您会说英语吗 ？The responses you will receive could be one of these three: 会 yes, 会 or 会我会说一点 yes. I can speak a little. 会，我会说一点。Or 我不会说。No, I don't. 我不会说。Since this last one is a negative statement, we need to say the negative word 不 before the verb 会 It's just that easy. Now it's time for Yanru's tips. For those of you who are not only English speakers, you can use this question with any language you need. More and more Chinese people are studying other languages, so maybe you will get lucky. Just replace 英语 with 意大利语 for Italian, 俄语 for Russian, 西班牙语 for Spanish, 德语 for German. This lesson we mentioned the expression 请问 But did you know that this could also be used as an apology? In the next lesson, we will learn this and other ways to apologize in Chinese. I will see you in our next 三分钟汉语 lesson. 再见 Hi, welcome to Chinese Top Words. Today we are going to learn top ten must know vocabulary for the restaurant. 服务员 waiter, waitress. 服务员 waiter, waitress. 服务员，我们要两杯水。Waiter, we need two glasses of water. If you want ice water, I will suggest you to say, "Ah,、uh, 服务员，我们要两杯冰水。冰水 means ice water." 菜单 menu. 菜单 menu. 这是我们的新菜单 This is our new menu. In China, it's so easy. Even you do not know any Chinese. The menu is like a book. Every dish has a picture on that. The only problem in for Chinese menu is maybe you will get a dish which is not fully consistent with the picture. 点菜 to order. 点菜 to order. 可以点菜了吗 Can we order now? 
酒 alcoholic drink， 酒 alcoholic drink， 不好意思，我不喝酒。Sorry, I don't drink alcohol. 饮料 non-alcoholic drink， 饮料 non-alcoholic drink。你想喝什么饮料？可乐还是果汁 ？What kind of drink do you want? Cola or juice? So in China, cola is not necessarily Coca Cola. It's actually a category. So Pepsi is one of the cola. For example, if you want all the cola, you might get a Pepsi. You might get a Chinese brand cola. You might get a Coca Cola. You never know. <laughs> 特色菜 specialty. 特色菜 specialty. 你们这的特色菜是什么？ What is your specialty dish? This is a very commonly used question when I'm in Chinese restaurant. I don't want to get disappointed, and、uh, this is the most direct and easy way for you to get delicious food. 筷子 chopsticks. 筷子 chopsticks. 你的筷子用的很好 You're good at using chopsticks. I never. Have experience of saying this sentence in Chinese. I guess everybody is good at using chopsticks. Otherwise, they cannot survive in China. 刀叉 fork and knife. 刀叉 fork and knife. 请再来一副刀叉 Another set of forks and knives, please. 买单 to get the check. 买单 to get the check. 服务员买单 waiter. Check, please. Or you can say 结账 It also means check, please. 好吃 tasty. 好吃 tasty. 这道牛排很好吃 This steak tasted very good. Or if you want to stress, this dish is really really good. You can say 这道牛排好好吃 So thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to ChineseClass101.com. Let us know which is your favorite Chinese dish, and、uh, I will see you again. Bye. Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Hey, 大家好，我叫马艳茹。Hi, everybody. I am Yan Ru Ma. Welcome to Chinese Class 101.com's 三分钟汉语 the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned some words used when apologizing in Chinese, including 请问 and 不好意思 In this lesson, we're going to learn numbers in Chinese. Yes, numbers, 数字 from one to ten, and you are going to learn them in only three minutes. 三分钟 Are you ready? Let's start. 一一二二三三四四五五六六七七八八九，九，十，十。Okay, now repeat after me. I will say the numbers and give you time to repeat each one. 一，二，三，四，五，六。七、八、九、十。Great job! What is before 一 Do you know the word for zero? It's 零。零。You don't have any more excuses. You can now give your friends your cell phone number in Chinese. Let's try it together. We will use the phrase. 我的号码是 which means my number is. 我的号码是一三零
九四二五零六三七。Can you read it by yourself? 一三零九四二五零六三七。Perfect. Now it's time for Yen's tips. When we talk about numbers like telephone numbers, bus numbers, and so on, we pronounce one as yao. For example, a bus number one o one is pronounced yao ling yao, and you can even use yao instead of e when saying phone numbers. Try it when you are in China. I'm sure that it will impress people a lot. Do you know the Chinese word for a hundred? In the next lesson, we are going to learn the numbers from eleven to one hundred in Chinese. Your task now is to practice the numbers we studied in this lesson, from 1 to 10. Welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we are going to cover top ten ways to prepare your travel. 选择目的地 to choose your destination. 选择目的地 to choose your destination. 我早就选择好了我的目的地。I had my destination chosen a long time ago. I think comparing to scheduling your trip, choosing your destination is much easier. For now, I really want to go to Taiwan. It's a place I have been wanting to go for a long time, and since now I'm in Japan, it's affordable and it's easy, and I know the local language. So, yeah. This is a destination for my next trip. 买旅行指南 to buy a guidebook. 买旅行指南 to buy a guidebook. 你在哪里买的旅行指南 Where did you get your travel guide? For my traveling experience, I never buy a guidebook, especially for now. It's so easy to use Google and、uh, TripAdvisor. Hmm, maybe guidebook works for you. 存钱 to save money. 存钱 to save money. 我要从今天开始存钱 I need to start saving money from today. For me, saving money is always from tomorrow. It's like my friend's diet plan. I will start diet from tomorrow. For me, I will start saving money from tomorrow. 订机票 to book a flight. 订机票 to book a flight. 在星期二订机票会比较便宜 It would be cheaper to book your flight on a Tuesday. 请假 to request vacation time. 请假 to request vacation time. 我想在十二月请假两周 I would like to ask for a two-week leave in December. 预订住宿 to book accommodations. 预订住宿 To book accommodations, 你的任务是预订住宿 You are assigned to reserve accommodations. 查看当地天气 To check local weather. 查看当地天气 To check local weather. 走之前记得查看当地的天气 Remember to check the local weather before you take off. 购买旅行保险 To buy travel insurance, 购买旅行保险 To buy travel insurance, 旅行社常常会推荐你购买旅行保险 Travel agencies often recommend you buy travel insurance. 打包行李 To pack your luggage, 打包行李 To pack your luggage. 每次打包行李的时候，我都很兴奋 Every time I pack my luggage, I feel very excited. I only feel excited at the moment of buying the plane ticket, but packing my luggage is not such a fun thing to do for me. Like I always feel too many things to fill in my luggage. 办签证 to get a visa. 办签证 to get a visa. 办签证不是件容易的事 Getting a visa is not so easy. I'm trying to get a visa from America next week. Wish me luck. Thank you for watching today's Chinese top words. Let us know 
How are you going to prepare your travel? And where is your next destination? Don't forget to subscribe to ChineseClass11.com. I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, 大家好，我叫马艳茹。Hi, everybody. I'm Yan Ru Ma. Welcome to ChineseClass101.com's 三分钟汉语 ，the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Chinese. In the last lesson, we learned how to count in Chinese. I hope you spend some time practicing numbers because they will come in handy for this lesson. We are going to learn how to go shopping in China. Before we go, you need to know how to say "How much is this?" 这个多少钱？这个多少钱 ？Are you ready to go shopping in China? Let's go. You say something you like and want to ask the shopkeeper how much it costs. The first thing to say is, 请问 Do you remember what that means? Excuse me. 请问这个多少钱？请问这个多少钱 If we want to be more specific when asking how much is this, or refer to a certain type of object, it's super easy. We just need to add the noun. For example, 帽子 a hat. 请问这个帽子多少钱 Excuse me, how much is this hat? 请问这个帽子多少钱 Another example, 杯子 cup. 请问这个杯子多少钱 Excuse me, how much is this cup? 请问这个杯子多少钱 ？At this point, the shopkeeper can answer by saying 这个 which means this, and then the cost. For example, 这个五十五元。What number is 55? I'm not telling you. Okay, okay. It's 55. It costs 55 yuan. If you think it's too expensive, say, 能便宜点吗 This means can it be a little cheaper? It's really useful in China, but it won't work if you are in something like a large department store where bargaining isn't allowed. At this point, can you count renminbi in Chinese? We're going to learn how to do this and much more in the next lesson. I'll be waiting for you in our next 三分钟汉语 lesson. 再见 Hi, welcome to Chinese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about ten ways to say hello in Chinese. Hello, let's get started. Hi, hi, hi. I think this is just a literal translation from the English. Hi, we created this character for hi. This character is only for this meaning. This is a very casual one. 你好 hello. 你好 ，Hello， 你好。This is the most commonly used way of saying hello in Chinese. If it's a little more formal for the people who are higher than you in status, you can use 你 with 您，您好 for your teacher, for your professor, for your boss, for your client. You can say 您好。好久不见 ，Long time no see. 好久不见 ，Long time no see. 好久不见。If you took a vacation from your company and come back in one month and see your colleague again, you can say, Ah, 好久不见，好久不见 ，Long time no see. How have you been? 还好吗 ？How is your job going? 工作还好吗？最近怎么样 ？How have you been? How have you been? 最近怎么样？最近 is recently. Recent. 怎么样 ？How? You can um use 怎么样 for many things. Uh, how is your food? 你吃的怎么样？你的食物怎么样 ？How is your job? 你的工作怎么样？怎么样 means how in English. 你好吗 ？How are you? 你好吗 ？How are you? 你好吗？ This is a very general for of saying hello of 
uh, asking how is one person doing recently, or generally. Yeah, even you see each other every day, you can say, "Ah, 你好吗？早上好。Good morning. 早上好。Good morning. 早上好。Good morning. Or you can use a shortened term. You can say, "Ah, 早，早。If you say 早啊 it means good morning too. 晚上好。Good evening. 晚上好。Good evening. If you're saying goodbye to somebody after dinner. You can say good night, 晚安，晚安 ，good night. 吃了吗 ？Have you eaten? 吃了吗 ？Have you eaten? 吃了吗 ？I think it's a more realistic way, more common way of saying hello. If you really want to sound like Chinese instead of foreigner, you will use this term for saying hello. You do not actually have to answer it seriously. For example, even you say your You see your friend is eating. You can still ask, "Oh, have you eaten?" Even you know he is eating. You can say, "Have you eaten?" It's like, "Ah, how are you? What's up?" So it's a more Chinese way of saying hello. 在忙吗 Are you busy? 在忙吗 Are you busy? 忙 means busy. Are you busy? 在忙吗 It's like. Mm, do you have a minute to talk?、Uh, I have something to ask. It's like a polite way of asking somebody's favor, or you want to talk with somebody, and, and you asking about your availability. 咱们又见面了 Good to see you again. 咱们又见面了咱们又见面了 Good to see you again. 咱们 means we. 见面 means meet up. But then,、mm, it's a little. Ah,、uh, we do not use it in my hometown. We more often say it, 我们 Then it is a more casual way, maybe of saying 我们 Usually, we say 我们 more frequently. So 我们 means we. Thank you for watching today's Chinese top words. I hope you learned more ways of greeting people in Chinese. Don't forget to subscribe to Chinese Class One Hundred One dot com. I will see you next time. Bye. You can just say, "Ah, 吃了吃了 even you haven't eaten anything. It's like good, good. Yeah. 吃了嗯，吃了吗？吃了。Yeah, it's like saying hello. So if I say 吃了吗 what would you say? So, "Ah, 吃了吃了你吃了吗<laughs> It's very Chinese.、Though. So my foreigner teacher in my college. Call call university feels so weird because he is eating in cafeteria. His student come here. Ah,、oh, have you eaten yet? Have oh, you, in English. In English, yeah, because they do not have this concept. So my foreign teacher, I am eating. What do you ask? <laughs> Welcome to Chinese Top Words. My name is Ray. Today we are going to cover twenty travel phrases you should know. Let's get started. 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? 我可以要一张地图吗 ？Could I get a map? Map, map. If you use your hand gesture enough, I think Chinese will know what you want. Yeah. 你会讲英语吗 ？Do you speak English? 你会讲英语吗 ？Do you speak English? So when you see m at the end of a sentence, Chinese sentence, you will know this is a sentence for asking a question. 什么什么吗 ？What what 吗？有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 ？Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 ？Is there a bus from the airport to the city? So in China, since we have a, a big population, especially in the airport or in a train station, sometimes we need to line up for the taxi. So it may be a very useful sentence when you get to the China for the first time. Wi-Fi is 免费的吗 Is the Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi is 免费的吗 Is the Wi-Fi free? Another common question is what is the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi 的密码是什么？今晚有房间吗 Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有房间吗 Do you have any vacancies tonight? So different from English, we put the time in front of a sentence instead of at the end of the sentence. So 今晚 means tonight. 
。我可以换一个其他的房间吗 ？Could I move to a different room? 我可以换一个其他的房间吗 ？Could I move to a different room? So when you are not satisfied with the room, maybe it's filled with smoke smell, you can use this sentence. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗？无烟房，无烟房 means non-smoking room. 我有预定 ，I have a reservation. 我有预定 ，I have a reservation. You can use it in a restaurant or in a hotel. 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 ？Could we have the menu, please? 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 ？Could we have the menu, please? 菜 means dishes. 单 means list. So a list of dishes it means menu in English. 你有什么推荐吗 ？Do you have any recommendations? 你有什么推荐吗 ？Do you have any recommendations? So speaking of Chinese dishes, my favorite one is tomato fried eggs. 西红柿炒鸡蛋。I strongly recommend it. Please try it. 可以给我结账吗 ？Could I have the check? 可以给我结账吗？ Could I have the check? So in China, when you go to a restaurant, go having dinner with your, especially your close friends or your family, um, one special, one Chinese specific situation might happen. Like everybody will fight for check. Could I have the check? 我可以结账吗 It's not so often heard, but instead it's like, I want the check. 我要结账 Yeah, in China, people like paying for. They are close friends and family. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. Among my friends and my family, I've never heard anybody is allergic to anything. I guess we were born strong. 请给我一杯水 Water, please. 请给我一杯水 Water, please. I would recommend you to say. 请给我一杯冰水 Because in China, many people like hot water. Me too. I like hot water. So, if you do not add 冰冰 means ice. So 冰水 means ice water. So if you don't add that, you probably get a hot water. 这个多少钱 How much is this? 这个多少钱 How much is this? So if you go shopping in China, if it's not department store, usually the price is not. Written on the product, so the merchant may offer different prices depending on the people. You have to always ask and always negotiate, otherwise you will get overcharged. But also enjoy the fun of negotiating the price. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. If you feel this sentence too long for you, you can say. 这个我要十个 or you can say 十个 This is Chinese way of showing ten. 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? So, like what I have said before, in China, negotiating price is very common, except the department store. So, this could be very useful. 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? In China, personally, I don't use credit card so often. I do use my cash or like an account in my phone. So I just show my phone is like Apple Pay. It's very easy and convenient. 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? So we put where at the end of the sentence in Chinese. So be careful, reverse the order. 请问车费是多少 Excuse me, what's the fare? 请问车费是多少 Excuse me, what's the fare? Usually, you use this sentence when you take a taxi. So when you get to the destination, you can ask the taxi driver. 请问车费是多少能不能帮我拍张照 Could you take a picture of me, please? 能不能帮我拍张照 Could you take a picture of me, please? Instead of asking this favor in a question, you can also say, 请帮我拍张照 
Please take a picture for me. 这是去机场的巴士吗 ？Is this the right bus for the airport? 这是去机场的巴士吗 ？Is this the right bus for the airport? Thank you for watching Chinese top words today. I'm happy to share with you the useful words when you travel in China. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out our Chinese class 101.com. I'll be there waiting for you. Bye. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.